This episode of JTech Apple is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Justin here, and today I've got a benchmark test of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And in this video, I will be putting these two Apple devices through its paces and hopefully allow you to compare it with your own device and see how it stacks up in both the CPU and GPU tests. The Apple A8 processor is seen in both the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It is said to be up to 50 times faster than the original iPhone and up to 84 times faster in terms of GPU performance also compared to the original iPhone. It is of course Apple's fastest processor yet, as they always like to say, with its ability to bring 2 billion transistors and it is also said to be up to 50% more energy efficient than its predecessor the Apple A7 chip. And with its 64-bit 20 nanometer architecture, it is said to bring together power and efficiency. So the first test I always run is Geekbench, and they both feature the Apple A8 processor, however on the iPhone 6 it is clocked in at 1.39GHz, and on the iPhone 6 Plus it is clocked in at 1.37GHz. This is a dual core processor, and both featuring about 1GB of RAM. So from the benchmark test, the scores were pretty close, almost identical as you would expect, with the iPhone 6 Plus coming a little bit on top, but within very small numbers. At 1613 for the single core, and 2890 for the multi-core. With these type of scores, it kind of shows that although the iPhone is a dual core processor, it is still an extremely powerful phone. And just scrolling through some of the other individual tests that were ran together to calculate the final score, you'll see that they are pretty similar across the board. The next test I ran was GFX Bench, which tests the graphics capability of both these devices. This test was a very long one, and it took upwards of 20 minutes to complete. This test pretty much just ran a whole series of renderings, and I mean there was a ton of them, and it just went one after another, trying to push the device to its limit and seeing how it would fare in terms of the GPU performance. On this test, you will notice that the devices went back and forth with the Manhattan high level test at 1902 on the iPhone 6 Plus and 1863 on the iPhone 6. Sliding down, you'll once again notice that the scores pretty much went back and forth between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, but again, they were very similar as they do run the same hardware. Moving on to another GPU benchmark, I ran 3DMark, and I tested it on Ice Storm Unlimited, which is obviously the unlimited one, the one that really tests the limits of a device. And after running these series of renderings, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus both came out with some pretty impressive scores up there with other flagships I have seen this year, with the iPhone 6 at 17,361 and the 6 Plus at 17,838. The last test I ran was SunSpider, which tests the web browsing performance of a given device. Of course, I did use Safari, however, I know a lot of people do use Chrome as well, but for this test, I did use Apple's native browser. And this is a 10 second test, which pretty much obviously runs a whole bunch of stress tests on the browser and gives you a final score based on time. Zooming into the final score, the iPhone 6 came out at 357.8 milliseconds and the iPhone 6 Plus at 369. The lower the score, the better. Before we head out, let's take one last look at our sponsor. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, online portfolio, or online store. It features a simple and easy interface, beautiful design, responsive design, drag and drop content, and 24-7 support through live chat and email located in New York City, Dublin, and Portland. Every design also features a unique mobile experience that makes sure your website looks great on every device every time. The plans start at just $8 a month and even includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. So what are you waiting for? Start a free trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you do decide to sign up for Squarespace, they were nice enough to offer viewers a 10% discount and all you gotta do is make sure you enter the coupon code JTEC or head to squarespace.com JTEC. But aside from that, that has pretty much been a quick benchmark test of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and allow you to compare it with your own device. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what device you currently have and how it fared against the benchmark scores of the new iPhones. I'll see you all in the next video.